It's been more than 10 years since the disappearance of IU student Lauren Spearer. The 20 year old sophomore vanished after a night out with friends in Bloomington back in 2011. The Bloomington Police Department has said that Spears' case remains active and they say they have received more than 36,000 tips since Lauren disappeared. Now, of those 1,100 were described as actionable tips and some led to search warrants. Let's look back now at the timeline of events back in 2011 when Lauren was last seen in the early morning of Friday, June 3rd. Beginning that weekend, volunteer search parties are formed to find the missing 20-year-old sophomore. And on June 6th, her parents, Robert and Charlene, speak to the media for the first time, pleading for help in finding their daughter. Somebody knows something. And I would just beg and plead that that person come, you know, however they want to get us that information. I don't care if it's the website, you have a friend that can call, the friend, you know, I, I don't care. But somebody knows where Lauren is. Somebody knows. June 7th, police released specific details of what happened in the hours leading to Lauren's disappearance. That she spent time in a Bloomington bar, walked back to her apartment, then to a friend's apartment. Her friends report she was last seen leaving that apartment to walk home. That night, police used a battering ram to burst into a room in the lobby of her apartment building to get surveillance video. We don't have anybody that we characterize as a suspect, but we do have, you know, people that were with her, of course, are persons of interest. June 8th, police acting on a tip to search Lake Monroe. They did not find anything. On June 9th, Police reveal at least 10 persons of interest, including Corey Rossman. His attorney says his client is cooperating. There's also an announcement of a reward for $100,000 for information that leads to Lauren. Accompanied by his attorney, Corey Rossman, one of the 10 persons of interest in the disappearance of Lauren Spear, left the Bloomington Police Department after reportedly giving a DNA sample. I just hope that they find her as soon as possible, and I'm praying for her and her family. Do you have anything to do with her disappearance? Absolutely not. That's, that's all you said. So he has nothing to hide. That's why you can't. No, we're, we're, we continue to cooperate, and we'll cooperate. They're the search guidelines. There's a number for the detective on top. We're asking people to report anything big or small. After a week of looking, the search continues. Hundreds of volunteers and police scouring Bloomington and beyond, looking for any sign of Lauren. Kristen Green drove three hours from Valparaiso. I don't even know the girl, I don't know the family. I mean, my heart goes out to them, but I want to help the stay, help the community. Friday morning, police set up a roadblock along the route, and at the same time, Lauren was last seen. Officers stopped more than 100 cars handing out flyers and asking for any tips. Unfortunately, at this point, uh, that didn't provide any result. Uh, so. Uh, we may be looking at doing that again. Detectives confirm that Lauren's boyfriend, Jesse Wolf, a fellow IU student, is also considered one of the 10 persons of interest in the case. Do you believe her boyfriend was with her at any point during that night or the early morning hours? Uh, that's uh, information that I just don't want to go into the specifics of that yet. But police say Wolf and all of the other persons of interest have cooperated. Later on June 14th, police released pictures of a truck caught on surveillance camera in an area where she disappeared and a picture of Lauren leaving her apartment that night. The owner of the truck, one of the first and only leads revealed in the case, would come forward a couple days later and be cleared. I think if you look closely at the content in this picture, you will see who Lauren is. For the first time since this investigation began, more than a description, a picture taken the night before Lauren Spear disappeared. Happy, smiling, beautiful young lady on her way out for the evening to meet with friends. The 20-year-old Indiana University student, after a night out with friends, never made it home to her Smallwood apartment, disappearing about 4.30 a.m. Friday, June 3rd. After nearly two weeks of extensive searches, police offer a new clue. The photo of a pickup truck taken from security camera video. That this will either, uh, you know, hopefully shed some light on uh, somebody who may have seen something in that particular area. 
at that time. The truck, a white four-door Chevy model with riding on the side and what appears to be equipment in the back, was captured on video driving around the block about the same time and place Lauren Spear disappeared. It could either be significant to us in that that person may have some direct responsibility for the event or that individual has information that could lead us in a direction. The photo of the truck, investigators hope, will spark new leads in a case now in its 13th day. The photo of Lauren for her family, a reminder to whomever is responsible of the urgency to bring her home. To the person or persons that have Lauren, uh, we miss her terribly. Uh, she's uh, very dear to us. But we love her very much. June 15th, volunteer search efforts continue to mount. Hundreds of people turn out to look for any sign of Lauren in and around Bloomington. Not saying specifically that it would have anything to do with it. June 16th, police release a specific timeline of times and places Lauren was seen the night before she disappeared. Her parents talk exclusively with 13 News. Their hands intertwined, their faces not able to hide the exhaustion. Robert and Charlene Spearer have a mission and a message, ever focused on finding their daughter. 20-year-old Lauren disappeared in Bloomington two weeks ago. Despite daily searches with hundreds of volunteers, the Spearers say they're frustrated that someone who knows something has yet to speak up. It's mind-boggling how somebody wouldn't come forward. It's just not within my realm of thinking, you know. And or Lauren's for that matter. You know, I know without a doubt that if Lauren was able to help somebody, she would. So it's just beyond us to think that somebody is withholding critical information. Put yourself and your family in our position and think, would you want someone to come forward to provide information that would help find somebody who's lost. There have been signs of hope, surveillance pictures of Lauren, a detailed map of her movements that night, and a truck that apparently circled the block when she was last seen. Having somebody there at the spot at about the right time might have really significant information that could help with the search. The search itself is now beyond Bloomington, helped along by experts in the field. Many times, Lauren's parents are there searching too. They also meet daily with detectives, give interviews, and keep track of the case on social media. It all takes energy and emotion. How do you get through this day in and day out and sustain that strength that you both display so well? I have one thing in my focus, and that's Lauren's face. And that is what keeps me going, is, is you know, my complete total focus and purpose and determination is for Lauren. It's, you get tired, but there's, you're just not allowed to be tired and you're not allowed to stop. Anyone who's a parent knows that this is what you have to do. This is how you need to be. A mom and a dad who just want to find their daughter. June 17th, Robert Spearer breaks down during the news conference when he speaks about Father's Day. I would also like to thank all of the people that have had the courage and the compassion to provide tips in connection with Lauren's disappearance. Meantime, another plea from Lauren's father. Uh, let me ask those that have information about Lauren or the events of that evening to get the courage to come forward and tell us anything that you know. Information Robert Spear would consider a gift. We all know that this Sunday is Father's Day. I would ask any of the uh, children out there to uh, let your parents know. A father who can hardly speak when he considers Father's Day fast approaching with still no word about what happened to his daughter Lauren or where she is. June 19th, police search a rural area in Morgan County after reports of a suspicious odor. Nothing is found. What are you waiting for? June 22nd, Charlene Spears says she's disappointed only one of Lauren's friends come forward 
on their own to police. The parents also open a P.O. box for tips. June 25th, find Lauren Day in Bloomington. Hundreds of volunteers take part in massive search efforts. Rob Spear has been at it since early Saturday morning, just like he has been every morning the past three weeks. His life has a single mission, find his youngest daughter, Lauren. He sat down exclusively with Eyewitness News to talk about the search. I think it goes without saying, every day we wake up hoping that that will be the day that we find her. So yes, I do want something to happen. Uh, I desperately want something to happen. And he is not alone. There have been thousands of volunteers searching for Lauren in every corner of Bloomington. And another 500 plus volunteers were in town for Find Lauren Day in what could be the last big search to find her. We haven't quite figured out how we'll stay uh, connected to the community, but people are always coming up to us asking if they can help. As for Lauren's friends, at least those that are believed to have seen her last, none of whom have helped look. Well, they're not here. They've gone home. Uh, many of them finished their classes. They might have had some summer classes, so they've gone home. They're not, they're not around to help search. Some of those friends might have been with Lauren in the minutes or hours before she disappeared. Did any of them show up in the 300 hours of surveillance video that police say they have reviewed? I don't think it's necessary for us to see all of the tapes. They've described to us what's on some of the tapes. Rob Spear and his wife Charlene are briefed by the Bloomington Police Department every day on the progress of the investigation. As you would expect, the search for their daughter has become their life. Our hope is that it'll happen today. That's the way we look at life. Let's, let's hope that today is the day. June 27th, person of interest Jason Rosenbaum's attorney says he's cooperating with police and passed a polygraph. On June 28th, police say they're scaling back searches, shifting the focus from daily foot searches to following leads as they get them. And then on the 29th, the command center on campus for volunteers closes as daily volunteer searches end. Police search the townhouse she was last seen leaving. On June 30th, Spears' parents attend a public prayer service held at a Bloomington church. You really get to know the fabric of a community, uh, often by the difficult times that it experiences collectively. Uh, we're uh, forever grateful for everything that everyone has done and the support that's been given to us. We're now at July 1st. Her parents call a news conference. They say they plan to stay in Bloomington and appeal once again for someone to come forward. Uh, four weeks ago today, I received a call that Lauren was missing. Since June 3rd, Lauren's parents have led the search effort, personally meeting with volunteers who scoured the Bloomington area and beyond, but have been unable to find the missing 20-year-old. We're full of Lauren in our hearts and we're motivated very strongly to continue searching for her. In the past, they've said they were disappointed with Lauren's friends, only one of whom came forward with information. Today, Robert Spear appealed directly to those friends' parents that they need to speak with their children. Help them find their moral compass. They need your guidance and your strength to do the right thing. Wednesday night, Bloomington police detectives and canine officers searched the apartment building where Lauren was last seen. Two friends she visited there remained persons of interest in the case, but police have not commented about what, if anything, was found. Lauren's parents seem convinced their daughter's friends know more than they're telling police. To the person that has knowledge about Lauren's whereabouts, if you think that our determination is any less, it's not. If you think that our hope and our belief that we're going to find Lauren has changed from day one. It has not changed. We are just as determined today as we were day one. Spear was last seen wearing black leggings and a white top. She's 4 feet 11 inches tall and weighs 95 pounds. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. Anyone with information should contact the following investigators.